Welcome to this Rip Python code conversation. My name is Philip, and today I want to show you how to get started with Claude Code. We won't do a deep dive. Instead, I will take you along installing Claude Code, explaining you a little bit about the first steps, and show you my basic workflow when I work with Claude Code. This course is perfect for you if you have never worked with Claude Code or if you just want to have an impression how Claude Code works. If you already have experience with Cloud Code, this video course is probably not for you. But hey, I still invite you to hang around with me. And if you're wondering why I'm saying Cloud Code all the time and not just Cloud, the next lesson is for you. You may have heard about Cloud AI or Cloud Chat, but that is not Cloud Code. So what you're seeing here is Cloud Chat, and this is not Cloud Code. Cloud Code lives in the terminal. But what exactly is the difference between Claude Chat and Claude Code? Let's get this out of the way before we're diving a bit more deeper into getting started with Claude Code. Claude Chat and Claude Code are different tools that work with the same or similar underlying models. Claude Chat is a general assistant. You can compare it to JetGPT, for example. It's great for explanations, Q&A, and even quick code snippets. So you can definitely use Claude Chat for coding. However, if you want to have your AI assistant right in your terminal, that's when Claude Code comes into the picture. Claude Code is a so-called agentic coding tool. That's a fancy word for a tool that can take actions for you. In the case of Cloud Code, you add it to your development setup, and then Cloud Code can not just suggest code, but actually can get an overview about your project, open files, edit them, and run basically any commands that you could run in the terminal as well. So you can think of Cloud Code as a very helpful pair programmer that's living in your terminal or even in your IDE. In this video course, I'll show you how to use Cloud Code in the terminal. But if you're using VS Code, I encourage you to also have a look at the Cloud Code VS Code extension after this course, because that way you can integrate Cloud Code right into VS Code. And depending on your preference, this might be more convenient for you. So that's the difference in the tools of Cloud Chat and Cloud Code. But there is another important difference Cloud Chat is in the basic plan free, at least at the moment of this recording, and Cloud Code is not. This might change in the future in one way or the other, but you need to check the pricing first and check your plans with Cloud if you are actually in a plan that has Cloud Code in it. So that's an important heads up. Check this for you. And if you want to get an impression about Cloud Code without trying it out yourself, then this video course is also fine for you. But if you want to try out Cloud Code yourself, you need to have a plan that brings Cloud Code with it. And at the moment of this recording, it's summer 2025, you have to pay for it. I like to use both. Cloud Chat I'm using if I need quick advice on something or just feedback on a code snippet or have a look at a bug. And I really love the chat interface. However, if I want to be more hands-on with my coding assistant, then I love to use Cloud Code because, as I said, it's kind of like the programmer next to you, and you can give them tasks, and they help you program, which I really appreciate. And there are different tools out there that are agentic coding tools. If you have another favorite, let us know in the comments below. I have also to admit that things like this could change for me. So currently, I love using Cloud Code, but it could be also Google Gemini or OpenAI's Codex or whatever other tool comes around the corner. I'm basically very opportunistic about it. And as of this recording, I think Cloud Code is pretty solid. But the best way of getting a feel if this tool is for you is trying it out for yourself. And in the next lesson, we'll install it together and give it a first spin. In this lesson, we'll install Cloud Code together. Since the AI world is a fast-moving world, the installation instructions might be different when you're watching this course. I will leave you the link to the Cloud Code documentation in the description below, so make sure to double-check if what you're seeing is still up to date. All right. On the left side, you see my terminal. That's where I will type the code in a moment. And on the right side, you see a browser window where I'm at the documentation right now. 
to work with Claude Code, you need to have a Claude AI subscription, as mentioned in the former lesson, and you need Node.js in the version 18 or newer. You can check which version of Node you're having on your system by typing Node dash dash version. On my system, I am having version 24, so I am way above version 18, and that's good. If you're below version 18, or if this command gives you an error, then you can follow the Node.js installation instructions that you also find in the Claude docs. Once you have verified that you have Node.js installed on your system and the version fits, use the npm install command from the documentation. If you have never heard of npm, NPM is in the JavaScript world basically what PyPI is for us Python developers. And that means Claude Code is basically a package, not a Python package, but a TypeScript package. And you install it similarly like how you would install a package with pip, only with NPM. Copy the command from the documentation into your terminal and press Enter. Here it is npm install g at anthropic. That's A N T H R O P I C dash A I slash Claude dash code. You will see a few messages and that a bunch of packages were installed, and some packages are looking for funding, but we don't bother about this right now. Instead, we want to make sure that Claude is on our system and running. And for that, you will first navigate into a folder where you will try out Claude code. I already have created a folder, so I don't need to move anywhere. But if you just started the terminal, make sure that you're not in your user folder. Instead, create a projects folder, and there may be a hello cloth code folder. One reason why you don't want to be in your user folder or in your system's root folder is that Claude Code will change files, and you need to give Claude Code access to this folder. So it's a good idea to try things out in a safe folder for you. During the installation process of Claude Code, you also installed a Claude command on your system. So in order to start Claude for the first time, go to your terminal in your project directory and type Claude. And once you have hit Enter, I will see you in the next lesson where we'll set up Claude Code together. And if something didn't work for you and you're not ready for the next lesson yet, I will also leave you two links in the description below this video to the troubleshooting guide of Claude Code and to the advanced documentation where you also see alternative installation steps. Hopefully these work for you if the normal installation doesn't work for you, and we'll see each other in the next lesson.